Boom, boom, boom. By the summer of 1944, the war in the Pacific was clearly being won by the United States and its allies. The Allies, emboldened by the decimation of Japanese naval and air forces at the Battle of Midway two years earlier, had driven Japanese forces from most of their island strongholds. <laughs> now the U.S. was looking to Wojima, a small island between Japan and the Mariana Islands. Capturing it would mean the U.S. could launch bombing runs from Iwojima's strategic airfields, as the tiny island was directly under the flight path of B-29 sub-fortresses from Guam, Saipan, and the Marianos. It also meant American bombers could fly over Japan with fighter escorts. <laughs> when U.S. Marine divisions invaded on February 19, 1945, planners expected a brief campaign, but for more than five weeks, Japanese forces mounted a fierce defense. The bloodbath horrified Allied military planners and American citizens who feared a far greater slaughter during an invasion of Japan's home islands. General Tadamichi Kurbayashi, Japanese commander of Iwojima, recognized that he could not defeat an American landing. Instead, he planned a long and costly defensive battle to shake American resolve to continue the war and invade the Japanese mainland. The U.S. landing forces suffered 6,821 killed and 19,217 wounded. Although most of the 20,000 strong Japanese garrison were draftees, they refused to surrender, fighting tenaciously until only a few hundred remained alive to be taken prisoner. Celebration erupted when the first Marine patrol reached the summit of Mount Suribachi on Iwo Jima on February 23, 1945, and raised a small American flag. This moment was captured in a famous photograph by Joe Rosenthal of the Associated Press. On April 1st, about a month after the events of Iwo Jima, the U.S. Navy's 5th Fleet and more than 180,000 U.S. troops descended on the Pacific island of Okinawa for final push towards Japan. The Americans knew securing Okinawa's air bases was critical to launching a successful Japanese invasion. As dawn arrived on April 1st, morale was low among American troops. Soldiers and army brass alike expected the beach landings to be a massacre worse than D-Day. On D-Day, American troops fought hard for every inch of beachhead, but troops landing on Okinawa's beaches surged inland with little resistance. Wave after wave of troops, tanks, ammunition, and supplies went ashore almost effortlessly within hours. Japanese troops had been instructed not to fire on the American landing forces, but instead watch and wait for them. Japan's 32nd Army, some 130,000 men strong and commanded by Lieutenant General Mitsuru Ushijima, defended Okinawa. The military force also included an unknown number of conscripted, civilians and unarmed home guards known as the Boatai. The Japanese also utilized kamikaze warfare. On April 4th, the Japanese unleashed these well-trained pilots on the 5th Fleet. Some dove their planes into ships at 500 miles per hour, causing catastrophic damage. American sailors tried desperately to shoot the kamikaze planes down, but were often sitting ducks against their enemy pilots with nothing to lose. <laughs> Meanwhile, U.S. Marines overcame Japanese defenses in northern Okinawa by April 18th, but opposition in the south proved formidable. The Japanese anchored their defenses at historic Shuri Castle, supported by a series of well-defended high ridges. These defenses and sporadic Japanese counterattacks held up the American advance. Finally, under the relentless assault by the 10th Army, Shuri Castle fell on May 29th, no! and U.S. Marines seized the airfield at Naha through an amphibious assault commencing on June 4th. The Battle of Okinawa was the last major battle of World War II, and easily one of the bloodiest. Though it resulted in an Allied victory, kamikaze fighters, rainy weather, and fierce fighting on land, sea, and air led to a large death toll on both sides. There were 49,000 American casualties, including 12,000 deaths. For the Japanese, however, about 90,000 combatants died in the fighting, but deaths among Okinawan civilians may have reached 150,000. <laughs>